Well, we've had a good summer um, leading up to the first couple weeks here of practice, and uh, you know our kids have really come together the last two weeks. And uh, you know we had our decalb scrimmage and, and did some pretty good things last week in the scrimmage, and uh, we hopefully that will turn into really positive results on Friday against Woodland. Absolutely. And just kind of talk about the excitement level and the confidence level coming into this season based off of, you know, just what you want to do improve on from last year to this year. Well, you know, our, our kids have a chip on their shoulders. You know, we graduated a kid by the name of Laban Davis that's pretty good. And, and there's a lot of people that don't think we're going to be as good as we, we were a year ago. And uh, I'm telling you, I think we're going to be just fine. Absolutely. And then just kind of watching these guys practice and kind of get ready for this upcoming season, has there been any particular players, even maybe younger guys, that are standing out that are primed for a good year? Well, uh, you know, Carson Jacobs has has moved from the cornerback to the quarterback position, and, and he's done some really nice things for us. We're really looking forward to what he's going to see what he's going to do um, this season from the quarterback position. Um, you know, we've had some guys step up and, and, and uh, do some really nice things for us uh, where seniors left us a year ago. And uh, we've got a bunch of them. To name them all, it would take too much time. But they're all doing what they're supposed to. They're playing east side football, 111th, doing their job. Um, and that's what it's all about. Absolutely. And just kind of talk about what are some of the keys and like some of the things you guys need to hit on this season to consider it a success and to really nail what you're trying to get across to these guys. Well, it all starts up front on both sides of the ball. We've got to, we've got to main, we got to win the line of scrimmage on every game. And uh, if we do that, th good things are going to happen to our program. And uh, um, I think that's going to happen. We've had, a, like I said, a couple good weeks of practice and our guys are getting better every day. Absolutely. And then just kind of talk about what was, was there a particular message that you were trying to send to players coming into this season or maybe something different from last year that you were trying to really get across to them? Um, no, we, you know, we have four primary goals here at Eastside, and, and those are, are very simple. Um, you know, be a family, have fun, win conference, and play in November. Those are our program goals every year. They don't change. Um, the faces in the helmets change a little bit, but our program doesn't change. Absolutely. And then just kind of talk about, you know, obviously, you know, winning and being able to work hard and execute properly is big things. But what all, what all you think wants, you think needs to happen to be able to consider this a successful season for these guys and to really be able to call it, you know, accomplished? Well, success is defined by being better than what you were the day you started and uh, you know that's always our goal is to make sure that we're better in week 14 15 hopefully than we were in week one and and that's our constant mission is every week get a little bit better Absolutely. And is there anything else you'd like to add about the team before we're done here or anything about the upcoming season I'm uh, just looking forward to Friday night and the whole season let's go Blazers what your what the what it's looking like coming into this season? Um, I think we're looking very solid this year. All of our team, we all come together well, work together well. It's a very fluid team. I think we all. I don't know. We all. I can't think of the word. We all have the same goal in mind. We all want to work hard towards that goal to achieve that goal. Um, that's about what I think for that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just kind of piggyback off of that. You know, is that. Just kind of you saying, you know, the chemistry's there this year. You guys are on the same page. Yeah, yeah. We've got good chemistry. We had good chemistry last year. We're going to have it again, I think, even with up-and-coming dudes. Uh, we all, we got, we're good, got a good bond with each other, do a lot of stuff together outside of football, outside of school. Um, I think that really helps with the teamwork aspect during the games, during practice, all that. Absolutely. And, you know, you kind of mentioned some of the upcoming players. Just kind of talk about, is there anybody in particular so far in practice that you've seen standing out and you think is primed for possibly a big year? Um, for upcoming players, I'm looking very forwards to Lincoln Carter, who is an upcoming freshman, hoping to see him get some varsity time. Uh, Carson Days is a very solid blocker. Garrett Thompson, he's doing good blocking. Um, Ashton Bendel, Blake Lesser, defensive line, they're doing good. E.J. Miller in the backfield, not the backfield, secondary. They're all doing pretty good so far this year. Seen some solid plays out of them. Absolutely. And just kind of talk about, you know, uh, it, how has coaching been this year? You know, what have they been trying to hammer into you guys coming into this next season? And you think that it's been kind of sending a message that you like and you are getting behind? Oh, yeah, the coaching has been great as always. Um, don't take – the media seriously what they say don't take it to heart like, like me? well not necessarily like the rankings all that don't let it go to your head 
um, hard work, get the stuff done that you got to get done in the classroom, outside the classroom, on the field, all that. Um, don't be, what is it? Don't be like, don't jeopardize yourself doing something dumb outside mm -hmm. of class. Get your stuff done. Um, yeah. Absolutely. And just kind of talk about what you think the keys and the things that you guys have to accomplish this year to ultimately chalk this up as to a, as a successful season. What, what do you think the keys are there? Undefeated state championship. That's my goal. At least I think that's the rest of our goals too, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And then what have you kind of been doing? I know it's a team sport, you know, everybody's got to do their job and be able to work hard in this, but what are you doing individually, whether it's goals or just ideas of success you have for yourself to help contribute to the team this upcoming season? Um, I'd like to do my 111th as a team player. I'd also like to achieve the All-State that I got last year again. Um, work a lot in the weight room, work with my defensive tackles a lot, get some good reps in outside of practice. Like we come after practice some days, work some more. Yeah. Absolutely. And then just all I got left for you is just kind of just talk about is the confidence high coming into the season for you. Do you feel like you guys are ready and you're poised for a good year? Uh, I feel great. I feel great. I um, feel confident. We got a lot better recently over the summer. We got a lot of good scrimmages and against some pretty good teams, especially at like Taylor against Leo, East Noble, all those teams. Um, feeling very confident so far, yes. Absolutely. And then anything else you'd like to say before we're done here, man? Not that I can think of. All righty. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do that, and good luck to you. Uh, really, since we got into the August practices, we've really come together. Uh, we had a good summer, but just we've really – the team chemistry has gotten a lot better in the past two weeks of practice. You feel like that was something Coach was trying to hit on this season is just making sure the chemistry is still there and you guys are on the same page coming in? Yeah, I mean, he really – he talked about it a lot over the summer and um, just having some – New guys filling in key roles. The chemistry is definitely important, and I feel like we're already getting close to where we need to be. Absolutely. I'm just kind of talk about, you know, you've been seeing practice here. You guys have been working at it towards this season. Has there been any particular players, whether they be younger guys or even some of the older guys, that have just stood out and are primed for a great season? Um, well, there's um, Carson Jacobs is really going to have to step up this year, filling the role of quarterback, and I think he's going to do a great job. And um, there's some guys on the offensive line, like um, – Owen Davis, who is filling in a big role as a sophomore, and I think that uh, he's going to take that challenge well. Absolutely. And just kind of talk about, you know, what are some of the keys to having a successful year for you guys? Like, what do you guys feel like you really need to hit on and accomplish to call this season a success? Uh, I think that if we play, uh, if we just are fast and disciplined, we'll be able to reach all of our goals. And uh, I think if we play 111th football and are fast, we'll be fine. Absolutely. And, you know, I know that everybody's been kind of saying, and you've said it too, I believe, that the chemistry's been there this year. You guys have been kind of getting on the same page. That's what I've at least heard from a couple of people so far coming into this practice. And would you agree with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. And then just kind of talk about, you know, what – it's obviously a team sport. You guys have to work together to be able to accomplish what, what you need to. But just kind of talk about what do you have set out personally for yourself, whether it be goals or just ideas of success to help contribute to the team? Um, for me, it's just – probably just not have any penalties. I mean, for me, it has been a problem a couple years ago, and I just want to eliminate those because it will really help the team. So probably just for me, just no penalties this year. Absolutely. I'm just kind of say, you know, what's the excitement and confidence level coming in based off of what you guys have been doing so far? Is it pretty high? Oh, yeah, we're all really excited. We're really hungry coming off a semi-state loss last year, and we're really wanting to get back at it we're starting Friday. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. man. And then anything else you'd like to say about the team or this upcoming season before we're done? Nope.